Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're very welcome. My name is Anita Pon and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell so you also can get notified each and every week. I upload new tutorials on my channel. If you're a member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to make this half tan neck dress step by step. So if you want to know how I did this, keep on watching. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to fold our fabric into two, just like so, as you can see in the frame. After which I've gone ahead and fold my fabric into two. This is what I have. I have the, that's the right side of the fabric facing each other. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come here and draw my soldier line, just like this. Like so. Okay. After drawing my soldier line, is I'm going to come here and measure from my soldier to my nipple point, which is 10 inch. From my nipple point to my under bust, which is uh, 13 and a half inch. I'm going to come here and mark from my waist line, which is uh, 15 and a half. After my half length, the next thing I'm going to mark now is I'm going to go down to 23 inch. This is my hip line. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be connecting it with a straight line due to the fact that this fabric is quite a little bit stretchy and it's a bit difficult to work on. I'm just taking my time. My half length. And now I'm going to come here and connect this other line, the straight line as well. Okay. And now we'll be going down, measuring our... That's the dress length, which I want mine to be uh, 36, including the, the allowance. That's the hemming allowance. After marking so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding in my all my measurement. To do is to put in my soldier measurement. Round my soldier is uh, 15. 15 divided by 2 will give me 7.5. I'm just going to come here and mark my 7.5 here. After marking my seven and a half, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slant it down by one inch because our soldier is not straight. And for my neck width and my neck width is three by three inch. Since this is a hafta uh, neck dress, I'm going to go in by three by three inch. After doing so, I'm going to connect this like this. My neck deep and my neck width. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to come here to this one inch that we slant down and put in my uh, my armhole deep, which is seven and a half. I'm using the same thing that I use for my uh, soldier measurement. Here, if you don't know how to get your armhole deep, you simply divide your bust by six and then you add one and a half to it. After uh, marking it here, I'm going to connect it this line with the straight line, the dot with the straight line. The seven and a half that we mark from here to here, I'm going to put it here as well. Seven and a half here. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting in round my bust measurement, round my waist measurement, and round my hip measurement. So round my bust measurement is uh, 34. 34 divided by four will give me eight and a half. And I'll just be adding half an inch for half inch for my sewing allowance. I'm going to come here to my half length, put in my waist measurement. So, around my waist measurement is 28. 28 divided by 4 will give me 7 inch plus my half inch of allowance. Okay, I'm going to come here on this line and put in my hip measurement. Around my hip measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inch. And I'll be adding half inch for the allowance. After doing so, we are simply going to connect this from here to here. From here to here. Wait. We can go ahead. First of all, let's connect this from here to here like this with a panther ruler. Like so. Okay. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it from here to here. With my straight ruler. This is like this. Like so. Okay. After marking this, the next thing we want to do is to come here. If you want, you're going to do them. If you want the, that the skirt, if you want it to be pencil, you're simply going to take measure whatever you have from here to here. That's the nine inch. You're going to minus two inch from it. Therefore, uh, nine inch minus two inch uh, from it will be left with seven inch. You're just going to mark it uh, down on your. That's your dress length. But since I want mine to be same, just from the hip 
it's going to be the same thing all through to my length. So I'm going to connect this line with the straight line. Remember, I said if you want it to be pencil, you're going to minus two inch and mark it here at the line. And connect this, our armhole line, like this, with a straight line. I'm going to connect from here to here with a straight line. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do right now, remember with this line down, this armhole. So I'm going to connect this line from here to here. After connecting from here to here, the next thing we need to do is to measure from here to here. Whatever we have, we're going to divide by 2. So mine is 7 and a half. 7 and a half divided by 2 will give me 3.075, uh, 7, which is right here. I'm going to go in by just half an inch here. Half inch. I'm going to connect this from here like this, even though it's not really necessary. After connecting from here to here, the next thing we need to do is we're going to connect it from here to here okay i'm gonna come here i'm gonna place this like this like so connect this from here and i reach here at this center okay i'm gonna cut from here to here like this like so all the way downward After cutting the front piece of my dress, the next thing I did was to fold again my fabric into two and I placed this on top while leaving one inch of allowance from here, okay, for the zipper allowance. And now we are simply going to cut from here, 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 here. It's going to be the same except of the neck dip here. The neck dip is going to be just for one inch. So let me just draw this line straight so we know where my neck dip is going to end. It's just going to be one inch, okay? just one inch and I'll connect it from here to here like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. The next thing we need to do, I'm going to move this one like so. I'm going to come here and separate the back piece. Pin it here like this. Come here, as you can see. Come here and do the same. So after pinning everything up together, and I also pin the back piece. Remember, we just separated the back piece into two, and I also pin pin it up. The next thing I did was to measure from here to here. This is where I want my zip to to end. Okay, this is my zip that I'm going to be using for it. Okay, so I wanted my zip to end here. So I start pinning from here downward. This we're not going to stitch this. We're going to leave it open, so that by the time we finish stitching, we'll be able to install our zipper inside. All right. So the next thing we want to do is take it to the machine and stitch from here to here and also do the same thing here, do the same thing. I wish we press this up, this is what it looks like as you can see, it's flat. And neat. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to measure around our neck. Whatever your neck uh, measurement is, you're going to be adding this two inch of allowance. Remember, we left one inch of allowance here. This two inch, we're going to be adding it. So around my neck is 14 inch. 14 inch plus two inch will give me 16 inch. So I'm going to be cutting my neck band at uh, 16 inch. The width depends on you, okay? So to cut the band of the neck, what I did was to fold my fabric into two. So I'm going to come here, measure eight inch, okay? My eight inch, remember the eight inch is already included with my allowance. I'm just going to measure my eight inch. And for the width, I want to go in with with three inch three inch meaning by the time i fold it i will left one and a half inch okay so i'm going to connect this like this with a straight line like so Ooh. like this simply go ahead and cut it up okay to my ironing board press this flat just about uh let's say half an inch like this it's not even up to half an inch. Just press this flat here and I do this. See, I went ahead and pressed this flat. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to move this aside. So we're going to take our dress now and we're going to simply fold this. 
fold this like this just half inch in what and pin that up fold half inch in what half inch in what pin and do the same thing here half inch and pin I'm going to pin it all the way around so after pinning it the next thing we need to do is to take it to the machine and stitch all the way like this I will do the same thing with the other side Like this, I'm gonna fold it over like this, like so, and mark my center. After marking the center, the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna mark the center of this right here as well. I'm gonna mark the center of my chalk. After doing so, I want to place this like so, like this. I'm gonna take the center of this, uh, the band, place it with the center of this. Okay, so I'm going to pin this up right here continue pinning it up so I get here okay so I get here okay let me place this like this pin okay bring this over like this pin and my pin here do the same thing with this other side like this After pinning here, the next thing we need to do is to come here, grab this piece here, like this, and I pin from here, like so, from here, like this, okay, and I do the same thing with this other side. After pinning it, as you can see, the next thing we want to do is we're going to take it to the machine and stitch right on top of this line that we press it before to lay this uh, flat okay now that we are done stitching as you can see i also went ahead and move my pins all the stuff i'm gonna trim this off now the next thing we need to do is to take this like this fold it inward like so i'm going to put a pin right here I'm going to do the same thing here. Come here and make sure I place them together. So by the time I'm stitching, I will just stitch right on top here. Okay. Continue pinning so I get to this other end. So now um, after pinning it, this is what I have. I'm going to take it to the machine. I'm starting to stitch from here all the way to here. Here. While leaving this space open, that will be able to install our zipper later on so as you can see i went ahead and stitched this as i mentioned before all the way here and i left this open and i also left this here open now we're going to install our zipper to it our invisible zip tool uh, this is my invisible zip right uh, as you can see i have the right side and i have the left side so what i'm going to do i'm going to open up my zipper and this is the right side of my zip okay i'm going to take this right side here place it here like this i'm gonna take this come here and place it right here so when I'm stitching, I want this edge right here to end at this notch that I notch here. That's the center line. Come here and place this right here at this center line. I'm going to pin that up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pin it up. And make sure I pin it right on top of this line right here. Pin it up. I'm going to pin it. Oh, this is not even where this is where my zipper is going to stop and pin this right up to here and now I'm take my chalk and mark where uh, when I stitch I will stop from there so now that we are done stitching as you can see if I zip it like this or what this is what it look like okay I'm simply going to do the same thing with the other side of the zipper so as you can see I've done stitching the other side of the zip this is what the invisible zip look like when you really put it inside the invisible zip well it's you will never see the zipper okay so I'm going to zip it down like this 
like this. I'm gonna take it, take this like this, okay? I'm gonna flip this inside, bring it like this, and uh, I make sure I pin this up to hold where I flip it. I'm gonna take it to the machine and stitch straight right closer here to my zipper, all the way here, okay? And do the same thing with this other side. So after we uh, stitch here, as you can see, I've already flipped this. Um, you're simply going to come here, trim any excess right there, and flip this like so, okay? So now we're going to take it back to the machine and continue stitching till we reach here. When we get to the zipper, we end there and do the same thing with the other side. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to come here like this, fold half inch and half inch. We hem it all the way round and we are done with the dress.